welcome to another in the series of where can i go with my jamaican passport visa free <laughs> so today we are moving to asia okay mm -hmm. there are asian countries where you don't need a visa to travel with your jamaican passport i know that may be difficult because of how you're gonna get there but there are ways that you can get there maybe more expensive um without having to get a transit visa or anything right so today we're going to talk about south korea and how you don't need a visa to go there <laughs> so i have been there twice and i entered to through two different ports so i entered through incheon which is the capital yeah, or the, the main airport and then i entered through yangyang but this was all pre-covid so at the time i didn't need any test or anything all i needed was my handy dandy jamaican passport okay that's all but no i did a little research and i realized now that you do need a negative pcr test hi guys so today is june 7 and as of june 8th the government of korea is actually going to be uh, changing their policy a little bit so they're still requiring a pcr test but no non-vaccinated travelers don't have to quarantine as of june 8th which is tomorrow and um you will have to provide another pcr test within 72 hours of your arrival so before you enter korea you're gonna have to do a um, do a test to show them at immigration and then after you've entered the country you're gonna have to do another test within um three three days to show them so that's just an update a more recent update than this video that you're watching um, okay you also do need to do their online authorization form fill that out and they do accept unvaccinated persons however unvaccinated persons will have to quarantine for at least seven days if you're vaccinated you do not um, require a quarantine to enter there also they have now made it mandatory that all travelers going to south korea require a travel insurance but now you do have to present a COVID negative COVID test um vaccination card if you're vaccinated if you're not you still can enter but you will have to quarantine and you have to present travel insurance and the online authorization um from their website if you do plan to travel to south korea anytime soon i'd suggest that you go on their government website and just keep updated on the requirements because obviously this thing is changing as the day goes by the virus and how it develops and everything changes as the days go by so you want to keep updated on whichever country you're going to be traveling to pretty much all right so if you're going to the, yeah to a caribbean country uh, north american country south american country african country just go on their government website to see what is required to enter the country right now all right whereas persons would have like myself would have entered with just your passport and proof of where you're going to stay now so many things have changed so you have to just prepare yourself for that if it is that you're going to be making this trip during this time all right so i'm just putting it out there that you don't need a visa that's one of the most important things that you don't need a visa so you never pay for any visa so that's a cost off of the whole travel or the whole trip for you um to get to korea uh i believe there are non visa routes um one might be from here to panama or from he from here to mexico first or panama mexico or Colombia so you could try actually going to South America because a lot of South American countries also we don't need a visa and a lot of them do have flights to like direct flights to Asia so you just have to look and see which routes you prefer to go through without having to apply for a transit visa through the US or Canada or the UK all right but there are flights that you can get directly to parts of Asia um, from south america i am sure of it all right so thank you for watching uh yeah i just came here to tell you that you don't need a visa for south korea if you have this passport all right safe travels